This time we're going to replace the transmission fluid on a 2019 Nissan Rogue. Uh, there is no dipstick on this car. It has a little cap, which I'll show you, that you can pull off. There's supposed to be dipstick there, but they don't put it on. Uh, I believe you can order the dipstick yourself if you want to be absolutely precise. But what we're just going to do today is we're going to drain the fluid out. We're going to use that dipstick tube as our fill tube and uh, put back in exactly how much fluid we get out. If you want to do this more precisely, you can order the dipstick uh, from Nissan. It will slide in. You can check the fluid yourself. This isn't my car, but if I had it, if it was mine, I would have the dipstick myself and I would want to know it. But anyway, let's get started. So down here, this is where the transition dipstick should go. So it's tricky to get it out because there is a metal tab right here. There we go. And there's a plastic clip that clips right into that metal lip right there. Okay, I'll show you how to get that off right now. So this goes on to that metal tube, just like this. And you see there's a slot right there, and there's a plastic tab in there. That plastic tab is what engages with that metal clip. So what we have to do is we have to insert a thin screwdriver or a uh, pick tool, and you want to reach in on this side of the clip and just pry it. A little bit away all right so i'm going to do it from the back you can't do it from the back in the car but i'll show you what i'm doing so you want to do this we want to do it from the front all right you want to just press this clip that way you want to press it that way to so it can release from that metal so once you've got this pressed in and you push push on that a little bit then you can pull this off that tube of course it looks just like a dipstick uh handle but there's no dipstick in there so Regardless, we're, we'll use that for our fill tube. So that's how we get started there. Okay, so now we're under the car. I'll get a fresh, clean, empty drain pan because we're going to want to pour this into another jug when we're done to make sure how much fluid we took out. Right here is your transmission plug. Right there. This is part of your transmission case, but this is your plug. Oil pan's over there to do your oil change. The plug for that's on the back. Oil filter's all the way up on that side. Just for extra information this is an 18 millimeter uh, regular socket okay i'm just going to crack that loose and let that baby drain this car has got about 100,000 miles on it fluid doesn't look terrible it's still got a red tint to it but it should have been replaced long before this i believe the interval is still 30 to 40,000 miles per change okay so after draining it into the pan and drain it down into an empty jug. I got about three and a half quarts, maybe slightly less, three and a half quarts out of the transmission. So that's what I'll be putting back in. I've already put the plug back in. But putting it back in that tiny hole is going to be tricky. Okay, so to accomplish this, I got a funnel with a flexible spout. It has to have a small, small end on it. So we'll get that right into the tube. Tuck it in. Make sure it's seated firmly. And then that's going to let us bend this up so we can easily add the fluid. I'm gonna put something back behind here. I'm not sure what yet, just to kind of hold that in place so it doesn't spill on me. So I just gently put an old jack stand there that'll hold it up while I can fill this thing with approximately three and a half quarts. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're only using Nissan NS3 fluid in this car. Don't use anything else but Nissan NS3. Now that you've put back in the same exact amount of fluid that you got out, you're ready to put this fake dipstick back in, right in the top, I'll show you where. So you wanna have that tab facing that metal piece. It's gonna click in and it won't come out again until you reach in there like I showed you and pry that plastic bit up. But uh, now you're ready to drive it and you just change the transmission fluid.